What is up, everybody? It is your boy Herf here, back on Duel Links Entertainment Channel. And today, we got a brand new PvP event. You heard it, brand new. So this is pretty much what I've been asking for, for, like, forever. So, the last time we got a new PvP event was, like, over a year ago, when, uh, the, the, whatchamacallit, the Turbo Duels got introduced. Uh, and we've basically only had two, P like three PVP events, uh, like two and a half. The special duels I don't really find to be like a PVP event. But anyways, this is like Leo Luna, Leo Luna Duel Carnival, Turbo Duels, and then now we got this. So pretty nice. So we're going to be going through all the rewards and the format and the best ways to go through it. Uh, so basically... The whole premise is that this is just like Duelist Kingdom. So now if you've never seen the anime, different regions in Duelist Kingdom gave all of the monsters like a different buff, right? So when you were at the cave, it gave your dark monsters a buff. When you were at the sea, it gave your water monsters a buff. You know, all this kind of stuff. That's why like Weevil, you know, like lured uh, uh, Yugi into the forest so that all his insects would have a buff. Anyways, oh, I can see like where my friends are. Yo, that's pretty dope. Oh, I can see, like, what they're running. Dude, what is Grand Harrier running? Dude, what a gamer. All right, basically, I'm going to go back now. Uh, so, basically, the entire premise of the event is you, you pick a region to play in. So, you get, like, a special skill. And then you play against other people. So, now, if we view the skills. Uh, no, I wanted to view all of them. Share of areas. Okay, so, this is the what people are choosing, I think. Like, the percentage of what people are choosing. So, uh, the plus number is how much attack your dudes get just, like, as a base, like, buff. And then the EX skill means that you get, like, an extra skill on top of the buff. So, the reason that they do these skills like this is so that they're, like, somewhat balanced, right? So, light and dark, pretty much in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! have the best support out of any cards, period. Like, out of any of these things i mean sure that there are some other good ones but light and dark have the lion's share of support on like pretty much everything but uh to buff the water and the fire they even gave them an extra skill so honestly i think water and fire were in a pretty good spot anyways with just the attack boost i think the things that needed the most are like earth and wind honestly but i guess konami disagrees so these are the buffs, so you get 100 if you're light or dark, 600 if you're water or volcano, and then 300 if you're forest or wasteland. So if you look at the skills as well, because of the water skill, you get to add one Lemuria, the Forgotten City, from your hand to your, or to your hand from outside of your deck at the beginning of the duel. Water monsters you control gain 600 attack, and in addition, uh, the following effect can be used once per duel. All water monsters you control gain 600 attack. So, for one turn, you can make all of your monsters essentially have plus 1,200 because you get the 600 passive buff plus the 600 here. And this gives you 200. So, really, okay, it's a 1,400 attack buff to all water monsters on the field. That's pretty good. But the other one that was pretty interesting, so I got to switch my region to Volcano and I can view the skill. I'm talking about this one. So you can add one rekindling to your hand from outside of your deck at the beginning of the duel. Fire monsters you control gain 600 attack. In addition, the following effect can be used once per duel. Fire monsters you control gain 600 attack until the end of the turn. So the reason why, I, don't know, I really don't think that they should have made it rekindling. Because if you think about it, this really only helps fire kings. I mean, there's no really other fire deck that has like that many monsters with 200 or less defense. So, really, the only reason that you would choose the Volcano is if you're playing Fire Kings. And that is a huge buff to Fire Kings, by the way. Plus 600 attack, plus a rekindling for free is absolutely insane. So, if you're going for just, like, sheer, like, strength, I think, like, water exceeds in the ocean. Or I also think that uh, Fire Kings in the Volcano are, like, the two best options. Uh, but if you're just going for sheer speed... Uh, a like so you get points for winning or losing you get 50 for winning and i can't remember what it is for losing but you just go in 
with a suicide deck and you just farm super super fast and then you get to go to the pegasus castle because that's where the most of the rewards are anyways so if we look at the event details um okay so you collect okay star chips and then players we rewards based on the duels against pegasus so the only the duels against pegasus will actually give you the like card drops and then here are the cards that we're getting in the game so these are reprints i don't think that these are good is this one good for each group card uh, that's pretty bad uh this is okay but this card okay all monsters that are special summoned are changed to face up attack position and must attack if able during the turn that they are special summoned um i guess i mean like i could see this as like a future side deck card and, like if like a card if like a deck like special summons a lot of stuff in defense and doesn't really like attacking with it I guess like you could play this against witchcrafters or something because then like if once they go like their first turn they're not going to have enough resources for Ver to like have like a big buff so if you have a, a decent monster with this in defense they special summon Ver and then they have to attack with it so I mean I don't know I guess this could be like good against like slower decks I guess but I don't know. Uh, and then Sam Bell, the summoner, let's see, during your main phase, you can special summon one monster from your hand at the same level as this card. Yo, this is pretty good rank to exceed support. So I think that this is definitely, you want to get three of this. You should probably get three of this. So they're, the cards pretty decent. Like they have good effects. I don't know if they're really going to be used right away or at all, but they have good effects that are definitely worth picking up just in case stuff becomes good i mean i could see this like making melfi's a little better i don't know or the, like the raccoon stuff i mean there's some decent rank twos i don't know whatever but anyways so the fastest way to grind through the event wait i think that the um it should be cosmetics as well i think i saw some yeah yeah so, okay so this is the mat which is kind of dope looking okay and let me see if I can find the sleeves. I think I went too far. So the mat is good. The sleeves. Yo. That's kind of nice. No cap. I don't know if you guys can really see it. Oh yeah, you guys can see it. But the sleeves and the mat both look nice. So basically, for, just form the event. It's really easy. If you don't like playing PvP and don't want to play against people, just do like suicide deck, like I said, and then play the Pegasus Castle, like... It's really easy for both PvE and PvP players. So I really suggest that you get in there, play this event. It's really nice. It's brand new. Give it a chance. And with that, I think I'm going to head on out of here. Thank you so much for checking out the channel. Make sure you hit like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, get in the Discord for free new player help. That's where you join tournaments. Check out the Twitch. That's where we host tournaments. Uh, yeah, it's awesome. Get in there, and uh, I'll see you later. Peace.